Yep. Go, Go ahead, ahead, Thomas Vito. Okay. If I can get my thing going. Hold on. Uh, Chris, first game yeah. in a Rockies uniform, obviously just spring training, but how did it feel? I felt good. I mean, um, I think we've done a great job of getting as many live batting practices in as we possibly can. I think I have maybe 12 at bats already there and a couple today. So, um, yes, it's a shorter spring, but, you know, I feel like we have opportunities to kind of speed it up for us. So that uh, definitely helps our confidence. Do you feel behind at all? I mean, you came in about a week in the spring training. I I don't. I um, I feel better than I thought. Let's put it that way. Um, sure, there's still work left to be done, <clears throat> but just overall, my body feels really good. Just wearing the cleats again, um, all of that really is the stuff that you don't practice in the off season. But all of that really plays a big role into how you perform on the field. So overall, I feel great. Chris, I know you're uh, probably not aware of this, but your first at bat in a Rockies uniform, even though it's Cactus League. Everybody was tweeting out, "Oh, base hit!" Right? <laughs> what? What is? What is that? How does that make you feel to know that a lot of the Rockies people are following you so close that they're making a big deal about your first spring training? Yeah. How do you take that? Um, oh, I love it. I love it. I mean, um, it's just you know, obviously going to Colorado over the years and, and seeing the fans there, and um, always really enjoyed playing there. Um, granted, it was a lot of the time we had a lot of Cubs fans coming to Denver too, so. You know, but just seeing the Rockies uh, fans, Den I hear the people in Denver are awesome. Um, you know, my wife's actually there right now. Um, but no, it, it, it really does, it feels great. You know, coming here today too, I felt like we had more fans here than the Angels, um, you know. So uh, that makes me feel good. That makes all of us feel good. And, um, you know, can't wait to see them show up in Coors. One thing I was wondering, when you were there for the All-Star game last um, summer, were you thinking maybe I'll be back? <laughs> Um, I wanted to. I love every minute, you know, I the clubhouse, the chefs, the I mean, it was a really big event and just, you know, getting a chance to see the home side. You don't really get an opportunity to do that. And I got that opportunity and I, I was just blown away with everything that they had in there. And um, I've already I, I've already really liked playing there and then seeing that, you know, the underneath of the stadium is uh was pretty cool. So um, it's kind of really cool to see it all come full circle here. What was it like yesterday to see Ryan McMahon go ahead and sign up for another six years? And yeah. Kinda, do you get the feeling that guys are wanting to be here, in other words? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, and what a ball player he is, too. I mean, the year he had last year, just defensively really becoming his own offensively, just really cool to watch. And, um, you know, just in my short time, you know, talking with ownership in the front office and, you know, the players here, um, you know, they're not afraid to go out and get players, you know, and it shows you know, they're going to take care of, you know, their own and, and, and Ryan and, you know, I'm sure there'll be other guys here that they would love to, to keep around and guys that I would love to see stay around too. You know, Brandon Rogers is just a really good player and just the pitching staff too. We've locked some of those guys up too. So it's uh, it'll be cool to kind of grow with them and, and you know, learn from one another. And that's one for me, but um, left field, Coors Field is a pretty big place, and they talk about yeah. needing three center fielders to play <laughs> out there at Coors. What, what, what is your thought about playing left field and the amount of room? And have you played it there before? Yeah, I have. Um, yeah, it's a, it's, a big, it's a big outfield for sure. Um, definitely way bigger than I've ex – oh, my goodness. Oh, shoot. Um, I cannot believe. It. Okay, let's um, do that again. Yeah. All right, um, course is a big yeah. outfield. They say you need three center yeah. fielders out there. Definitely bigger than I've uh, you know experienced with the Wrigley Field. Um, you know, but even playing with the Giants last year, there was right field is really big there too. So, in kind of getting a you know some experience with that, but no, I'm gonna go out there and learn from these guys and lean on the guys who have been out there before and and really get a sense of how to you know deal with it, but. It's also a fun place to hit too. With big outfield, there's more hits, and you know you can look at it both ways. Thanks. Yeah. Have you guys started talking about that outfield at all? Like what adjustments you need to make? Um, not yet, really. I mean, I'm just trying to get my feet under me. I think this is my what fourth or fifth day, but uh, but no, just having those the spring training replica fields there too, it, it's extremely helpful because you really get a sense of you know just how big it is and you know how far the center fielder is really going to be away from you. So. You know, some of those balls that you might think, 
you know you're really close to who's ever out there playing center you're probably pretty far away from so just kind of getting used to things like that and um you know i'm i'm excited for the the opportunity and the challenge do you think when you guys get back home because the season opener is actually of course will you take some extra time in left in the outfield to maybe during bp or whatever to get a lot maybe extra time out there yeah. to get a feel for the track of the ball and stuff because through the years i've seen a lot of guys goes and a little further kind of get yeah. cut because the ball gets on them so yeah quickly. oh of course i mean yeah definitely just playing balls off the bat and batting practice um obviously you can take as many you know fungos or machine you know throwing fly balls out to you but i think the most realistic thing is just to go out there and, and shag during batting practice and um yeah definitely going to be doing plenty of that you know for seven years okay thanks, thanks, thanks.